Hello everyone, I am here with another video, as I promised to do so, and I think I'm just going to do questions again because I really can't think of a better way to do 21 questions for my 21st vlog, so... I looked some questions up on Pinterest, and I'm gonna start from number 16. Okay, Ugh, first question, I itch. Mm. Uh, question 16, what is your favorite type of music and why? My favorite kind of music Loki, is like, Rock, soft, soft rock, um, good songs that have a hard bass, <laughs> um, and I love Hawaiian music, it's, it's like, uh, a feeling I can't even explain, but I also listen to like, country music and um I listen to R&B I've always listened to rap but like I kind of grew out of that I mean I definitely I have a playlist dedicated to it but I just don't play it often uh, just here and there okay question 17. How do you handle disagreements or conflicts in a relationship? I feel like the best way to handle disagreements and conflicts is to gain a better understanding and compromising, I feel. What? Wait, okay. What is something you're currently working on improving about yourself? I would say being mindful of what I say, because I don't say a whole lot. But when I do, I want it to come out as like a sentence that I thought about, you know, instead of just saying whatever comes to mind. It's almost like talking as a reaction. What is it called? Like a, like a muscle, muscle memory kind of, I don't know. I just, I would rather improve that part of myself. Other than that, I think, I mean, all areas need improvement, but I would, point that out as a specific what is your favorite travel destination and why mm, I don't have a favorite travel destination yet but I am gonna go to Maine and I hope for that to be like my main travel destination Okay, it's taking me a second to, like, find what question I'm, I'm on because I started from a random number. Okay. What is your favorite? Okay. Nope. Just did that one. <laughs> How do you define love? Uh, and what does it mean to you? Um. Okay, these are some good questions. How, I haven't had much thought to think about that. Like, I definitely know how to define it, but... <sighs> that's gonna be something I wanna think more about and not just answer, so... I'll come back to that one later on in life. Well, like, I know what it is. Like, I know what I want to say. And I know how to answer it. I just... 
I don't have the words yet to put it together how I would like to. There we go. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is... Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this was like a pet peeve that I had. Okay, so I don't like having the same stuff as someone. If that makes sense, like, if I'm, like, walking around, like, you know, repping what I normally wear, or if I have something, I just, I don't want to have the same thing as someone else, or, like, I don't want that person to copy me, because then, you know, like, I can't rep it no more, like, (laughs) like, I just like to be my original person. And I feel like half of the time, this is why I don't have the same stuff as everyone else. It's because I just rather just have my own things. Like, uh, I don't know why it's like a bother for me, but it's just like, I want to be unique to myself. And I just don't want to be original. And it just ruins my whole lingo if, you know... It just ruins my whole lingo, like, my whole groove and what I have going for myself. But, I mean, like, I suppose I can understand, you know, and I would, I I think that just, I think that would have to be, like, my biggest. Because I don't have a lot of pet peeves. Um... What is your favorite what is your favorite way to show appreciation to others? Mm, I would just say quality time, honestly. Like I feel like that's just the best way to just sit with, you know, that, that person that you appreciate. I mean, that's like my favorite way to show appreciation. What is the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I dang. feel like there's a lot that I've done recently. Nothing crazy, but there's just... I can't even answer this question. We'll come back to it. Um, how do you handle change or uncertainty? I I believe I handle it pretty well because it's change is always a good thing like I don't know for me like I used to like a lot of things and and now it's like yeah I like those things but like I love newer things and it's, I wouldn't say it's a change, I guess this doesn't really correlate with the question, but it's not really change, it's more of like figuring out what you absolutely love, and now it just fits you, you know? I didn't answer that in the most prominent way, but I think I like how I answered it to the best of my ability. Um, let's see, what is your 
favorite quote or mantra in the Bible. This one is from my cousins. If you can't change it in five minutes, don't move on. Don't worry about it. Move on. That's like my favorite. Like, I think about it all the time. Like, if something doesn't necessarily... Something happens that I'm not pleased with. You know, so much happens in a day. Or can happen in a day. Sometimes it's like, what can you do? Is how I like to go about things. Um, what is your favorite way to stay active or take care of your health? I would say just like a jog or a run. Um, I'm in a spot in the video where I'm doing yoga right now. So, I would say that too. I mean, for the most part, and honestly, like just taking my dog out, it helps a lot just to get me moving when I don't really want to, but I have to. So. <clears throat> what do you define? Happiness and what brings you joy? The littlest, smallest things brings me joy. And I have a list of small positives that I like to just n jot down in my notes. And I can read a couple, actually. Let's see, the amount of poems. Poems, poems. Okay, I made small talk with a stranger in the elevator. I had a conversation with a lady taking out Alma. I was heading to Target and I went through all the green lights. This is a, this is a funny one, but it's beautiful. A butterfly landing on poop. Ugh, I kid you not. And even, like, the small positives, like, the small things that you can notice, like, it's crazy. Like, so detailed. Squirrel digging, hiding food in the mulch. A girl pushing her friend as hard as she can in a hammock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it's like I can visually see these happening as I'm, like, rereading them, re -reading these from, like, such a long time ago. A walk in the night back home. <laughs> that night was so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Got to know a new friend a lot more. Working out with a friend. Opening up about life. Mm. Skating for the weekend. Drinking my water honestly. <laughs> Along with working out. Honestly, the best. I can, yeah, I remember it. Squirrel drinking out of the pool water. I kid you not, I cannot make these up. Okay. Okay, There, there's a lot. There's a lot more, but I, I don't think I have a, a lot of time left. Uh, so, on to the next question. Um. What is your favorite way to celebrate milestones or achievements? I would say um, writing them down and just like continuing to achieve that milestone or achievement. Like continuously doing it. What is my favorite type of food and why? Love sushi. I love Mexican food because gotta stay the culture. 
Um, I love Indian food. I love Chinese food. Pretty much everything, but those are like my tops. Oh, I do not like barbecue. I, I can't do it. Um, how do you handle criticism or feedback? Feedback? Pretty much positively, honestly, I just apply it to myself, if that makes sense. You know, like, it's not a negative thing, so all you can do is improve whatever the criticism or feedback is about. Um, what is your favorite way to recharge sleep in all day? Just lay in bed, no joke. And then when, once once it's time, I'll get up the next day and get a coffee or a tea. That's like my best way to reset. And I think with that, um, that will be all the questions that I will be doing for this video and I I enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too um, I don't know what else I could say to that but I look forward to making another one of these videos soon I didn't get to include every detail about my life during this trip or after, but I hope this was a calming, relaxing video to watch, and that's pretty much what I wanted to go for, so until next time, oh yeah, surprise, this, this was really sweet, yeah. <clears throat> And that's how I will be ending the video. Peace.